I made a lot of pumpkins. A whole lot of pumpkins. And then I made some more pumpkins. Hey guys, welcome back to Crafts Go Bloom. My name is Krista and today we're looking at everything that I crocheted in the month of July. To keep track of this every month, I have a Google Doc on my phone and then every day whatever I've crocheted, I just put it down in a list. And I made 16 pumpkins this month. Now that pattern is by Katie Being Creative and it is on her Ribbler. And I believe her pattern starts with six uh, single crochets. And to make the different sized pumpkins, I just started with different um, amounts of single crochets in that first round. This one I started with 12, and when you do that, um, if you follow her pattern exactly, it, it's great, and it comes out as a smaller pumpkin for me, and it works just fine. Her pattern also has a leaf and a stem that you can crochet, but um, that just hurts my hands too much to sew them on, so I plan on finishing these off by hot gluing some cinnamon sticks and in there, and then tying a bow around them with some twine. Now, if you manipulate her pattern, like I'm talking about with these larger sizes, you will end up with a bigger hole in the center and you'll have to add a couple more rounds of just single crochets or decreases. I just made it up every single time, depending on how it turned out. And um, sometimes when you do too many rounds of decrease after decrease after decrease, it leaves big holes. <laughs> So if that was happening, I just backed up and did a round of single crochet and then a round of decreases. So I just freehanded the tops of these and then um, we'll, we'll put the cinnamon sticks in all of them. And I just kept going until the cinnamon stick will fit tightly inside of there and it won't wobble around at all. There won't be any stuffing showing or anything like that. And I started working on those pumpkins because I have some back-to-back -back markets in the fall and I won't have time in between markets to restock those items. So I'm going to make what I can right now. And then whatever we have after those markets is whatever we have. I don't really want to have a lot of leftover pumpkins that I can't sell after the fall. So I'm just going to make what I can and hopefully we can sell out of those. I missed a tiny little pumpkin in there. But there are 16 of them total. I made four of this turtle. This is a no sew turtle and it's on Instagram. Um, I believe the pattern is by Crocheted by L Shop, but everything that I show you today, I'm going to have linked in the description. And so I'll have links for everything in the order that I talked about them in this video. So I started out with a two tone and then I decided to add in some color. So I have a yellow one. Uh, this is a light pink. This is kind of hard to see, but it's like a baby pink color. And then this has already been claimed by my son, but it is a camouflage one. Up next, I have two of my cat pattern, and this one has also already been claimed by my other son, but this is in Bernat Blanket, Red, White, and Boom. And I love how these turned out. I think they're gonna be great for summertime markets. I also made my first black cat out of that same <coughs> pattern as the uh, the red, white, and boom yarn. So there you can kind of see the body shape a little bit better. I made four of these mushrooms. Um, this is a free pattern on Instagram and these all pop. So um, I think they're called, uh, I can't remember what the name of the pattern is called, but we have been calling them pop mushrooms. I have a couple more cats in different colors. This is a blue Bernat Blanket tie-dye-ish, and I can't remember the name of this one, but it's a Bernat Blanket, and we keep calling it Cookies and Cream. I have two ice cream cones, and this is a pattern by Katie Being Creative, and they're three scoop ice creams with um, waffle cones. And so this is also a no-sew pattern, and I sold out of this in my last market, so I needed to restock some of them, and I made one in a sherbet design and a chocolate vanilla strawberry classic design. I have everything that I'm showing you sitting in a basket next to me, and I just keep thinking that I've made it to the end of the cats and then I find another one, but I think this is the last one. And I made this one to look like the Cheshire Cat. 
and the purple is a Bernat blanket sparkle, but it just doesn't show up well on camera. But if you've never seen this yarn, I would highly suggest checking it out in person because it really does sparkle. It looks awesome in person. Up next, I made five of these variegated green Triceratops, and this is in a Bernat blanket tie-dye-ish. And here's another one that turned out more of a lighter color. I also made a pickle, and this is a free pattern over on Instagram that is no sew. I really like this. It works up in less than an hour for me. Up next, I have these mushrooms. This is a no sew pattern, and um, it's kind of hard to show them all at one time, but I made six of them. Uh, and this sold out at my last market, um, or it didn't, it didn't quite sell out. I had one left, but I sold enough of them that I really wanted to stock up on them. So I have six of those. I made one of my pineapple pattern and I sold this at my last market. So I wanted to restock and have another one of these on hand. Up next, I have five of my chip the chick pattern. I have a pattern and tutorial for this and I decided to make them in different colors. When I released this pattern, I only made it in natural looking chick colors in grays, dark grays, tans, browns, that kind of thing. And one of my pattern testers made it in a bunch of different colors and I love that idea. So I made a bunch of these to stock up. Now, based off of that Chip the Chick pattern, I started to make more birds and so this is my first prototype of trying to make it a cardinal. So I pointed the head a little bit more and I tried giving it some feet but I don't like how they turned out. I think they're a little too close to the body. So I tested out changing the feet to something with a little bit more of a leg to it that's a little bit longer and I'm really happy with how these feet turned out. Now, if you've watched any of my past videos, I really love to take this a pattern like this and figure out how I can dress it up in different ways. I've got a video where I take my cat pattern and give it a patriotic costume, um, one where I give it a bee costume, and I have a ton of other ideas that are coming out in the future. So I went a little crazy with figuring out different birds that I could make, and I'm very excited about this. I think you guys are going to like it. So first up, I wanted to improve the cardinal to look more lifelike. So I started out with a cardinal. I also improved that bluebird to look like an actual blue jay. This is another one that was inspired by someone else who made my pattern. I have a large chicken pattern and then chip the chick that goes along with it. And someone had taken the comb off of my chicken and put it on chip the chick to make tiny chickens, essentially, and I love that idea, so I just added some feet to it to add a chicken to the bird family. I've also turned it into just a regular yellow duck. Up next, I have a goose, a swan, a flamingo, and the last couple that I just showed you are pretty much the same pattern. You're just doing different colors and um, changing the details in the face a little bit. I made a robin. I've got a little penguin, a mallard. In our logo that you see at our markets and things, we have a bird in our logo, and so uh, we call this the Craftsco Bloom bird. Up next, I have an eagle. I have a macaw parrot, and this guy has green sparkly eyes. For Thanksgiving, I have a turkey. And every one of these is no so. All of these things are crocheted on. And my most uh, dramatic bird is the peacock. And I really love how this turned out. We've got the, the yarn that I call cookies and cream, the different color changes. Um, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. Now all these bird patterns as the time of filming this are unreleased, but they are all going to be out this um, summer and more likely this fall um, and I will be releasing those as written patterns on Etsy and video tutorials here on YouTube. It is a little faster for me to get a pattern up on Etsy just having to type it up 
Um, it takes a little longer for me to film a tutorial to get a pattern out on YouTube, so they will likely be in my Etsy store before I have tutorials, but I do plan on doing a tutorial for all of the birds, and really for all of my pattern. So I've shown you guys my cat already, and um, I didn't make any this month, but I also have a bear, a dog, and I'm working on a bunch of other animals that look just like this in the same way that I took my baby chip pattern and turned it into all of these other birds. So basing off of the cat pattern, I started making some other animals the other day. First up, I've got just a cat that is a Siamese cat. And this was a request from a customer at um, my market. And I also made them, I'll try to put a, a picture or a video of it here. I made them a darker Siamese cat. So you've got a few different options, and then I've got the blue glitter eyes on this one to match the real Siamese cat. This is the same pattern with color changes. This doesn't change the pattern at all, but you get a different look from it. But then if we change up that pattern, I made a lion, changed up the tail, changed up the face, and again, all of these patterns I'm showing you these are sneak peeks, unreleased. They will be um, patterns and video tutorials. Hopefully many of them will be out by the end of this year, but it's quite a few patterns. And then making a few more changes, I've got a possum. And I did actually make two of these, but I gifted one to someone else. I've got a clownfish. Um, with a few more adjustments than just changing the shape of the tail, but it goes off of the same basic stitches and basic idea of the cat. And then last but not least, I'm saving this one for last because it's my favorite, a grumpy, grumpy bullfrog. I, I love this. So this is Bull the Frog. Now that is everything that I have crocheted so far in this month. I have a market coming up tomorrow, so I wanted to show you everything I made because some things will sell. And then I'll tack on another clip of everything else I made after the end of this month. So I will see you then. Hey guys, popping in again to add in some things I've crocheted this month in July. I have a market coming up tomorrow, so I'm showing you guys everything that I've made so far in case it sells in my market. Hopefully it sells in my market tomorrow. So everything, most everything has price tags on it. That's fine. So first up, I have six of these sea turtles, actually. So I've got an orange, a yellow, two different blue options, and then a dark blue and purple color. And these are all the same pattern. It's a free pattern. Um, of course, I have everything linked below. And I really love this. It's you make like the different fins and the head, and then you make the shell, and then as you are crocheting the bottom of the body, it's all crocheted in, so it's completely no sew, and it takes me an hour and a half to make. Up next, I have two more of my cat pattern. This is just a baby pink one that I was bored and decided to make another cat. And then this one, I'm just testing out bettering my Cheshire cat. Up next is an item that I actually did not crochet, but it is crocheted by Crafts Go Bloom, and my daughter made this bee, and it is her pattern, so hopefully this will be out soon. If it is already in my Etsy shop, you'll have a link below. Next, I have two Katie Bean Creative Octos I finished this month. This is in a regular Bernat blanket, but this one is in the new Big Twist plush from Joanne, and I love it. I'm very impressed with it so far. Up next, I have in that same Big Twist plush, my bear in white. Up next, I have three of this pop turtle, similar to the pop mushrooms that I have made in the past. His head pops in and out. And sometimes if you squeeze it just right, you can get them to pop out. So my kids love these and the pop mushrooms have been good market sellers for me, so I jumped right on this turtle pattern, and I'm really hoping that this is a good one for me as well. Up next, I have Jellyfish. This is a free pattern on Instagram. This one I made out of the Joanne Big Twist plush yarn, and I have four of them. I also have a pink and a red, 
And then lastly, I have a blue one that is made out of Bernat blanket tie-dye-ish. Up next, I have these little mini jellyfish, and I made all of these out of Big Twist Flush. And these are all made with yarn eyes on purpose because I'm looking to add something to markets that is going to be good for toddlers and babies, uh, little kids that are still chewing on things, putting things in their mouth. I don't want to give them um, safety eyes. Even without safety eyes, however, I still would never recommend that you give these handmade things to a child that is unattended. So if you make things for anybody, you know, I let my customers know that and um, you always still just want to be making sure that you're that you're observing the child who who has these toys. And I think that they're going to be great for little kids who are like grabbing onto things because this plush yarn is pretty awesome. All right, last but not least, I have this mermaid. Now, the head, the arms, the the tail, the fins, they are all no so, so I was pretty excited about that pattern. Um, but this pattern calls to use uh, chenille yarn and I didn't have any chenille yarn so if you make it with the chenille that it's called for you can do the same hair that it calls for in the pattern and you get like this nice twisty curly look but since I didn't have any of that yarn I just improvised I found a different mermaid pattern uh, that had hair that you sew on and I made that and I completely like I followed that pattern, but I had to change the size and I made the hair a little longer. So I'll have it linked below. Um, I, I didn't write this, but I did modify it quite a bit to make it fit a pattern that it, it wasn't meant for. But um, I'm not sure how well you can see this. All of these colors are Bernat Blanket Sparkle. So that is everything for this clip of the video. I still have a few days left in the month, so I'm not going to end things here because I am certain I will still crochet some more things. So I will see you in the next clip.